All right, guys. Tyler down here at Emerald City Guitars with my pick of the day. Now, right now in the shop, we have probably close to a dozen black cards, uh, three or four bursts, uh, 57 gold tops, what have you. So I figured, why not do something completely different? And it doesn't get much more completely different uh, than this guitar right here. This was made by a man named Mud Cat. From what I know, he is a super reclusive guy, uh, lives up in the hills near Olympia, Washington, and he builds these unorthodox instruments. Now this one is called the Axe. I suspect not a whole lot of time went into naming this. Uh, I probably would have gone with something a little more creative. I don't know how you build an Axe guitar and pass up on calling it the Les Paul Bunyan, but uh, hey, can't hit them all out of the park, I guess. So some cool features on this guitar. Uh, got some dangly bits back here, what for Ward and Offiable Spirits. Uh, that's a good feature, you don't see that on a lot of newer guitars. I uh, got some more beadwork up here at the headstock. Uh, up here it appears to be more disciplinary, but of course that depends on the player. Uh, an extra long poking bit up here, we're just racking up the style points. Uh, one piece of this guitar that you might recognize, uh, this gold foil pickup right here, uh, probably came out of a very poor, poor, unfortunate silver tone. Uh, likely made in the mid to late 60s. Little did it know. It's life wasn't gonna go exactly as planned. But uh, anyway, so the pickup's wired straight to the jack uh, for unencumbered thrills, of course. Uh, he could have cluttered the design with things like volume or tone knobs, but uh, he took the high road and let this simplistic elegance of the design shine through, so get on him for that. So up here on the headstock, we have these sort of recessed Shaler tuners, uh, German made, an unsurprising choice considering the heavy sort of Germanic pagan themes throughout. So you might see this guitar on the wall and think, hey, that's probably like a flying V in that you can only play it standing up because it's so impossibly uncomfortable sitting down. But it may actually surprise you to know that this is equally impossible to play standing up as it is sitting down. The center of gravity is sort of right in the middle of the neck. So uh, unfortunately, ergonomics sort of took a backseat to aesthetics in this sense, but uh, it is possible to play. So in all seriousness, despite the goofy design, it is a well-made instrument. The fretwork is excellent, the neck feels fantastic, and it sounds great as well. So uh, we have probably two or three 310 Bandmasters, a couple tweed basements, uh, pros, supers, the whole situation. So I thought, what better amp to do than this 60s Baldwin Professional amp. You know, I always sort of viewed these Baldwins as the discerning man's tweed basement. Uh, solid state, of course, so you don't have to worry about things like tubes or breakup or things like that. Uh, for me, it's, it's an obvious choice. You know, these amps were made pretty famous by Willie Nelson and, <laughs> let's face it, who knows electric guitar tone better than Willie Nelson? Nobody. Nobody does. So let's plug it in and see how it cuts through the mix. All right guys, well there you have it. It is an Axe guitar made by a man named Mudcat uh, through a Baldwin Professional amp down here at Emerald City Guitars. Where else could you find that? 
come on down, try them both out. We'll see you next time.